What two animals could you combine to create an even more dangerous creature? Dog plus little girl, and it can talk. Oh you son of a bitch, too soon. Moose and shark. No one is safe from the shoes. It's a mark. Oh hi mark. Raccoon and crow. I have created an extremely intelligent griffin. That is a rummager. And would fight God himself for a half of a goddamn bagel. Best of luck. Pest control. Huge pigeon body with cow's ass. Flying shit gonna hit hard. Penguin plus bat. Definitely a scorpion cockroach. Imagine one of those coming out of your drain while you are taking a shower. I read this while in the shower. No long in the shower. Damn you. You were on your phone in the shower. What kind of god are you? Galaxy waterproof for a while. Half man, half bear, half pig. Man bear pig is real. Mosquito snakes. Ooh that would suck. Just remove its fangs and put on a condom and you got yourself a treat. Honey badger and a rhino. Hulk. Imagine a tiger with the stealth ability of a squid. So, a super panther. Goose plus termite. They fly into town in a flock of hundreds. Eat chunks out of your house. Honk loudly and wake everyone up. Then fly off. They'll also take chunks out of you. Just imagine walking around and a goosemite swoops down and rips a chunk out of your arm flying. Away with its meal you just know that it will come back to finish you off. So you just lie down and wait for your fate. As you hear the obnoxious honks you think, aw shit. The last thing I'll ever hear is a very angry foghorn. And the ripping of my own flesh. Single quote. Cats and eagles. Basically create a griffin. Mini griffin. Name it Peter. Piranhas and ants. You just invented pants. A Karen and a Kevin. A Kyle and a Karen. Kale. That's still just a Karen, but a stupid one. Bull shark and hippo. This is an underrated one. Snake and bear. So, a very large ferret. Starfish and snake. What would that even look like? A spiky snake that can regrow limbs to full body so cut one in half and you get two. So basically a giant earthworm with spikes. Absolutely terrifying. Would it be dangerous though? Maybe not. But I might have vermiphobia. Fear of worms. Not just disgust, but actual fear. So it would truly be terrifying for me. An eel. Flies are birds with Portuguese man of war tentacles. Can imagine the panic it would cause. Snake and bird. So a snake can fly, not so a bird can slither. Imagine a slithering bird. I laugh thinking about it. Spider plus mosquito flying, blood sucking, arachnid that spins webs. Effing flying spiders is nightmare fuel. Humans and gorillas raw power with raw intelligence. That would need to eat a crazy amount of calories thinking takes calories apparently. Mosquito and wasp. Zero, underscore zero. Centipede and crocodile. Imagining it ends halfway between them in size. It's the size of a beagle, skitters on a hundred legs and wants to bite a chunk out of your belly. Grizzly bear and California condor. And yes the wings are large enough to support the weight. Flying death machines. I love this it's like a California fantasy creature. Nightmare creature is more like it. I'd never hike again. Poison dart, frog and mosquito. Like instant death by poisoning itself throughout human blood? Would that be possible? A poison dart frog is only poisonous when it lives in the wild and eats a certain type of ant that allows it to produce the toxin in its skin. It is easy to get them as pets in many places and just feed them fruit flies and such. So I think a dart frog crossed with a mosquito would be at a disadvantage. Interesting fact, thank you for your input. Man and shark. Nice, you just invented furries. Cockroach and a fly. Oh dear lord the nuisance that would be. Bro I've seen flying cockroaches before. They're horrid. Beth and Jerry Smith's mythologues. Golden poison frog and sparrows. Hippo and a viper. Two bears one head on each side. Platypus and Komodo dragon. The scorpion leopard. Megalodon and lion. Imagine a skyscraper sized lion. That shit would easily fit 1000 humans in its ass. 
Megalodon wasn't skyscraper-sized LMAO. Imagine. Okay I am dumb. Poison dart frogs and exploding ants. Platypus and octopus. My friend group calls it Puspus. Octopus with poison barbs. Fur. And camouflage. Hyper-intelligent snail and tiger, or basically any other animal. Rhino cheetah. Snake and human. You want he are pretty scary. Ah, you mean my old classmates. Do they fight against Metal Gear? So lame yes. Scorpion Wasp. Karen and Chad. Rattlesnake and Coyote. Tarantula Cheetah. Centipedes and Snakes. Mosquito and Great White Shark because they are some of the most dangerous animals in the world. Not really. Mosquito and Hummingbird would be more realistically terrifying. Especially if they still swarmed. Bear Shark. Lion plus octopus, snake and jellyfish, snake plus eagle the sneagle, inland taipan and osti, octopus plus shark, poison dart frogs poison on butterflies, badger and wolverine, a king cobra and your common city rat, a venomous rat with a mean streak that can get into anything, scorpion plus chicken, caterpillar plus giraffe, chihuahua plus shark, the Chewark is vicious and fearless. Human, has to be part of the mix. Because our intelligence gives us the ability to plan long-term and act with a maliciousness. Unmatched by less complex brains. For the other half, I think I'd go with a Wolverine. Sharp claws. Strength and endurance disproportionate to their size. And an often foul temperament make them something to avoid. Oh yeah that's vicious AF. When I was a kid, my father found one in the woods stuck in a hair trap. It was still alive and unharmed. Just stuck. So he set it free but said he had to be ridiculously careful because it's super aggressive. Even more so when it's been stuck in a trap for who knows how long. Snail plus human. Bear plus wasp. Humans and golden poison dart frog. Blue whale plus box jellyfish we could never enter the ocean. Crocodile plus horse. Honey badger and murder hornet. Spider x Asian hornet. Venomous snake plus wasp. Wood sting. Bite and fly. Cuttlefish and Komodo dragon. Ultimate camouflage and a deadly bite. Sharko leopard. A hippo, but now it's the size of an elephant. T-Rex and Velociraptor. Griffins would be pretty dangerous if they were a thing. Lion plus eagle. Gorilla and grizzly bear. Cockroach can survive nuclear war. Killer wasp because they suck. If nuclear war happens, you got yourselves giant killer wasp roaches. But wasps can already survive a nuclear war. So, asterisk, fallout, asterisk, New Vegas, Cazadors. Golden retriever plus kangaroo. Carol Baskin and a pig. A gorilla and a lobster. Mosquitoes and those poisonous frogs that kill you with a touch. Cow plus pigeon if it could fly it would kill you with shit. A rhino and a cheetah. Imagine a giant mass of muscle running at you at 109 miles per hour. Fucking hopeless. Basically make any large predator fly and horror ensues. Giraffe and lion. I just can't imagine this without laughing. You will kill everyone with a dr lion. Fun fact. No one can escape the Jer lion because if they try to escape the Jer lion will extend its neck and bite them. One of those goats that immediately fall asleep pass out when startled and a bird. Kangaroo plus millipede, kicks ass. Asian giant hornets and paper wasps. Wolf plus bear, wasp and elephant. Mosquito and elephant. In both of these, they can fly. Mosquito now just eats people or drains them of all their blood. Humans and wasps, as in, a wasp the size of a grown human with human sentience. Have fun! Komodo dragon and a cheetah. Imagine an animal that's bite can fucking make you bleed four mall holes running at you at 75 miles per hour. A dinosaur and a cockroach. It'll never die. A coyote and snake if you played Fallout New Vegas, you know exactly what I'm talking about. I have, for countless hours. I have an active game where my courier is LVL-22. And yet, what are you referring to? Is it from a DLC? 
Honest Heart is the only one I've completed. Never did like the others. Even though the main game is one of my favorite. And HH is my favorite Fallout DLC ever. Tied with the pit from Fallout 3. I'm referring to Night Stalkers. They're in basic game. I really recommend to play Old World Blues. Because it's amazing DLC. And it explains origin of Night Stalkers and Cazadors. Oh, yes. I remember. Didn't like OWB at all. Emo the worst DLC ever lol. Old World Blues was my favorite video game DLC of all. Loved every second of it. But everybody likes different things. And OWB is not for everyone. Giant Black Mamba Head. Giant Octopus Vato Monsieur the Mamba Head is super aggressive and poisonous. The octopus bottom would allow him to squeeze through things as octopuses do. But also grab things to bite. Combination of snake and viper. Would have to be a solid snake of course. Pika and electric eel. I want to build a Pikachu. Praying Mantis plus Eagle Flying Reaper of Death. Crabs and spiders literally armored spiders. Man and a shark man already dangerous just give it sharper teeth and an ability to swim better and Boom. The box jellyfish and the mosquito. A lizard and a bat fucking screaming dragons tiny, but dragons all the same. A shark's teeth mixed with a lion's dominating strength. Cricket plus fly equals cry. Why do I call it a cry instead of a fricket? Because you're going to have a mental breakdown trying to swat the chirping fly. That's why. Man combined with gorilla. Great white shark plus shark whale just image the size of that shit. Venomous snake combined with house fly. Octopus with praying manis claws on each tentacle. Contrary to what most people say, the most dangerous animal in the world is not the lion or the tiger or even the elephant. It's a shark riding on an elephant's back, just trampling and eating everything they see. Emu plus goose. That super poisonous jellyfish with pigeons. Those beasts are gonna kill so many people just by flying. The green anaconda, Eunectes murinus, and blue whale were about to constrict the world. A rhinoipotamus, a hippopotamus will F you up but now it has a horn on its nose. One is extinct, but oh well. A megalodon with a flying and out of water breathing capabilities of a peregrine falcon 200 plus mph let's just go for it blue whale and great white shark polar bear plus hornet crocodile alligator plus elephant warm-blooded enormous exceptionally smart super predators that hunt in packs on land and water get fucked florida electric eels and grizzly bears imagine how terrifying grizzly bears are now imagine them if they could electrocute your ass from a distance. Ice baby and a squirrel, the two most dangerous things. Anything venomous plus domestic cat. Magpies and snakes. Ankylosaurus and a lionfish. Full fucking plate armor and spines that can kill with the slightest prick. Orangutan cockroach. Pigeon mosquito. Happy malaria. Crocodile bear. Grizzly bears and hornets. You're under attack by a giant swarm of angry flying bears because the bear's somewhat timid nature is replaced with a permanent raging fury of a thousand suns that is a hornet's mind. And they're so large you can't even cower inside an apartment or house. The only safe place is bunkers. And when the last of the surface dwellers are dead the hornet bears start to hibernate. But supplies dwindle and you must send teams to risk the surface to steal food from the hornet. Bears hives. Trying not to disturb their slumber and hoping that they aren't deceiving you with a false sense of security as you carefully step by these monstrous beings. Human and polar bear. The intelligent killing machine. I think New Vegas had it with the rattlesnake coyote called Night Stalker. Falcon and Black Widow Spider. A jellyfish with a porcupine. The great goose tardigrada. The indestructible tardigrade and the evil goose. Good luck walking on the park. Peace will never be an option. Strength of an ant. Size of an elephant. Total destruction. Geese are bad enough on their own. Have you seen those crazy fuckers? 
Honey Badger and Tasmanian Devil. Both are viscous little death balls and would fight Satan and win. Or a Japanese hornet with Gordon Ramsay or somethings. Both its ass and its mouth would sting. Thank you so much for watching and have a good day.